keyboard shortcuts can be enormously helpful when you're trying to uh, draw something or work at a fast rate and you don't want to take a second or two to get out of that mode to shift the tool or change tools. So I, I recommend highly that you use them. They're enormously helpful. If you have your, uh, your tablet set up on your desk or wherever, you probably want your keyboard behind it. I found that to be the most kind of efficient way to work with it and have it within arm's reach so that you can reach it right away. So the, there's default settings for these, and you can also tweak these, which I suggest you do because this is your, uh, your workspace and you want it to be efficient for you, whatever your, your method is. So, but a few of the default ones that I think are really good is, um, so right now we're on the, the pencil tool. These are your tools on the left and the one that's highlighted is pencil. If not, you can click on the pencil and if we're on the canvas and we're drawing or whatever, and we suddenly want to move the canvas, we can do that really easily. Just press the space bar and we'll get a hand that lets us drag the canvas around. And it's going to keep staying there as the hand until we let go of the space bar. And then it'll go back to whatever tool we were using. So that space bar um, is really helpful, I find, for when you want to just get somewhere on the canvas really fast. Let's see another one that's really good is Control Z that I use a lot. It's it basically un undoes the last action that you did. So the last thing we did was I mean in terms of art was the penciling right here. So if I press Control and Z, I hold down Control and then press Z, it just undoes that, and it'll do that as many times as you press it, but it only can remember so far back in your history. So if I draw like several marks on the page and I press or I hold down control and press Z. It's going to remove them. And some of them it'll, it'll remove in groups because, uh, the way that you have that modified, you can change that setting, but it's based on the time that you spend doing an action. Like if I do a lot of quick actions, it's going to count that all as one, one group. So you can t tweak that, but control Z is, I use it all the time. Sometimes I'll want to select an object and I don't expect you to remember this right now, but you probably want to, after you watch all this, come back to these shortcuts and take a look at them. Cause then they'll have a little more meaning, but basically the object is this square box with the arrow up here. And the way you can get that really easily is just press O and then you're on the object selection tool which will be very helpful later on. We'll, we'll talk more about that. Another one that's very helpful is when you quickly want to get the text tool. I find this, that's the letter A down here. I find that very helpful to get right away. When you're working with a lot of text, you just press T and you'll have the text tool. And we'll, we'll tweak this a little later. Right now it's set for vertical writing because uh, this is a Japanese program and they didn't change a lot of it. so. We're going to change it to horizontal writing so you can write in English or another language. Another common uh, shortcut that I use all the time is control zero. And let's, let's move the canvas a little and slide it down here. I, I just use the space bar again to, to move it. And if it's off center and I want to get it back to like the main orientation where it fits nice and square in here. All I need to do is press control and zero and it'll, it'll center it and fit it right in the frame. So I think that is very, very helpful when I'm, uh, when I just need to get my picture back to how it was before. So control zero. Now there's two other changes uh, or shortcuts that I use, but I want to change them. You can leave them if you want, but I find that they're a little awkward the way they are. And they're the ones that let you zoom really fast. There's other ways to zoom as well, but I'm going to show you this first. So to zoom right now, you can press control and then the plus key. And you probably notice that control and plus are like as far apart as they can probably be on the keyboard. They're, they're very far apart. And that's not very helpful when I want to zoom in really fast. And same with zooming out, it's control and minus. So control minus 
they require two hands, they're kind of far apart. It's, it's just kind of awkward. So I like to change that. And actually what I'm going to do is change it. So X and Z are my zoom in and zoom out shortcuts. So I'm going to press control zero and get it back to center. And we can change our shortcuts. Just go up to file and go down to shortcut settings. Click on that. And you have all these different things. And these are all shortcuts that are already in the system that you can change. There's tons and tons of shortcuts. I don't have most of these memorized because I don't use a lot of them. But um, there's also blank ones that you can add a shortcut. So if, you, if there's ever anything that you find yourself doing a lot and you kind of find the process awkward and you want to simplify it, it may be worth your time to make a shortcut. But right now I'm just going to change a shortcut. And if we go down to view, click on view. And we're going to go down to zoom. Zoom in and zoom out. And we're going to change these. So right now we have control plus, number plus, control. I'm just going to get rid of all this and change it to, um, for zoom in, I'm going to change that to X. So let's click on it. And I'm going to click delete shortcut. And the other one as well, delete shortcut. So now it's blank. And then also zoom out, I'm going to delete it both of them. Okay, so back on zoom in, I'm going to edit the shortcut. And when I try and edit it right now by changing it to X, it's going to tell me and hit return. It's going to tell me it's already in use by another shortcut for drawing color switch. And I don't really want it to do that. So do I want to set the shortcut by deleting the current shortcut? Yes, I want to change it to zoom in unless you really like it like that. But for the purpose of this, I suggest changing it to X. And same for this one. For zoom out, let's make it Z. So click on it and edit shortcut. And just hit Z. And then return or enter. And that one didn't have a problem. So now I can close this. OK. And when I press X, it just zooms in. Y, I mean, sorry, Z. It zooms out. And this is really helpful because you can, along with the space bar that lets you move around, you can zoom in, sp sp slide it around, zoom out, slide it around, zoom in. It's just really a lot faster when you're, when you're working with a big canvas and you want to make a lot of changes really fast. I love this shortcut and I think you'll like it too. So give it a try.